Hello everyone, this is Jason. Today I'm going to show you how we build our portable greenhouse shelves. Um, we wanted something that was portable so we could move them around in the greenhouse, stack them and get them out of the way. Um, we also wanted something we could put in the bed of a pickup to take to farmer's markets or to set up plants alongside the road. Here's a picture of the plan that I drew. As you can see here, that we did a 4 foot by 8 foot shelf. So for the framing of our shelves, we used 8 foot pressure treated 2 by 4s. See there's a little ice on some of these. I think we we're the first ones at the lumber yard this year. To make our frame connections, we used number 9, 3 and a quarter inch star head screws. For the shelf itself, we used a welded wire 48 inch high fence. Um, we bought it in rolls of 100 feet. And lastly, we used 3 quarter inch galvanized staples to attach the fence to the top of the frame. This was my setup. Each shelf requires four and a half two by fours. Uh, in the back, I cut my 296s. The two by fours in the front, the two long ones, I cut 145 and three quarter and 148 out of each of those. And the half piece that was left over in the back, I cut my 45 inch out of it. So here I marked out for cutting my 293 inch. And then I'll move on to the 245 and three quarters. So here on this 2x4, what I did was I measured one side at 45 and 3 quarters, and then I came to the other side and measured back 48 inches. You do both 48s out of one 2x4, it only leaves you about an eighth quarter inch material. It's just a lot easier to work with a little more material when you're cutting it off. And the last 2x4 you have to cut is the 45. So now that we have all of our pieces marked cut, go ahead and get everything cut, you'll end up with your 7 pieces. So I'm going to move along here. Here you see I already got some of the frames built. But what I did was I took 2x4s that I had, um, some 4-footers, and attached them on all four corners. It kind of helps act like a template to line everything up. So each uh, rack that you build um, is almost uh, pretty much identical. So what I'll do is I'll show you as I go along here one board at a time where they go. So here we've placed the 93-inch on the left-hand side on top of the existing frames. And now we'll place the 93 inch 2x4 on the right hand side. Now we'll take one of the 48 inch 2x4s and place it down at the far end. So here I'm going to show you how I made the connections of the frames. Um, you'll notice I pre drilled the holes at the end of the boards um, just so it doesn't split the board. And when you're out close to the end, you're 3 quarters of an inch from the end of the 2x4 that you cut. Um, you don't want it to split on you. So that's how I made the connections on my frame. Um, next, we'll put the 48 inch closest to us. We'll put the 45 inch in the middle, and then the 45 and three quarter at each end. Now, after all the connections are made, you're ready for your welded wire fencing to be installed. When you're installing your welded wire fence, it's all in two inch increments. So if you line up your first column or row, whatever you want to call it, on top, of the 2x4 but in the center it will fall in the center on the other side um, pointing at the tab there put that tab down hammer it in hold it in place and then you get your staples and place it in uh, you don't need to do that it just worked out that way for me and once you get your center staple in you're just going to go out to the outside and make sure it's lined up on the outside it's already going to be squared up for you. But you always want to work from the center out with your staples. That will keep it nice and tight for you. And then we'll move along. I staple each end 100%. So you're going to roll the wire out to the other end, go off the end, and it will hang down there. 
It's not tight yet. What I found is I used another claw hammer and I hooked the uh, intersection of the two wires for the welded. And I used my forearm to hold down while I use the other now. Watch my left forearm. You'll see that I press down on the wooden handle and nail at the same time, which makes it really nice. And it brings that wire over to about the center of the 2x4. It worked really well and the wire became really tight. So now that we have this end nailed, we're going to go ahead and cut the wire off. Now I'm going to come back, I'm going to take the wire that's left over, push it back up to the center of the 2x4, and then I'm going to go ahead and put another staple in. That secures it very well. It doesn't leave any jagged edges hanging out. It'll we'll cut on later. Now we'll move on to the 45 and 3 quarters. These I nailed every third wire that crossed and then on the outsides I did every other wire and on the 45s that crossed the center I nailed every wire. One more thing that I'll point out while we're here is you'll notice that the 45 and 3 quarters are offset in the center where they attach the 45 makes it easier for assembly. And that's it. Go ahead and finish all your nail and your shelf's ready to go. Here's a couple of pictures, a little bit closer look at how I terminated the ends when I cut off the wire. So the more I did of these, the faster I got towards the end. It took me about a half hour to do a shelf. We did 15 shelves and I think they're going to last us a long time. Well, thank you for watching. Have any comments, please leave them below. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe.